Mr. President. The Senator from Alabama. Mr. President, first let me begin by expressing how honored and humbled I am to be a member of this body and to represent the great state of Alabama. I began my career right here, fresh out of law school, in 1979, working as staff counsel to Senator Howell Heflin on the Judiciary Committee. There are only three members of the Senate where I served as a staffer that continue to serve today, Senator Leahy, Senator Hatch, and Senator Cochran. Two of those three, Senators Hatch and Cochran, will be retiring this year, Senator Cochran in just over a week, and a grateful nation thanks them for their service. For me personally, I'm honored to have come full circle with them, from a young staffer to a junior colleague, and I wish them well in their life after the Senate. I want to thank my colleagues on both sides of the aisle for welcoming me to this body, many of whom are here with me to what day, braving the wintry weather outside. Thank you for your friendship, your advice, your willingness to include me and my staff in the great work you are doing. I particularly want to thank my senior colleague from Alabama, Senator Shelby, and his staff. I appreciate their graciousness and patience in helping me as I navigate my new role as a freshman senator. And my family. My amazing wife, Louise. Incredible kids. Courtney, Carson, Christopher. Who so fully supported me in my quest to reach the Senate. But more importantly in my life. I have grown with them, and certainly because of them. Of course, my sister Terry, wonderful parents who I am blessed to have around today, and my grandparents who are not. They instilled in me the values of family, faith, patriotism, respect for others, and a work ethic that has guided me throughout my life. Finally, I would be remiss if I did not take this opportunity to pay special tribute to my mentor and former senator whose seat I now hold, the late Howell Heflin of Alabama. He was a remarkable man whose large lumbering frame and southern drawl would often mask his amazing intellect. His compassion and sense of justice for his fellow man forged a path for myself and so many others that worked for him over the years. He came to the Senate in 1979 at a time when bipartisanship was more than just a campaign slogan or a soundbite. In those days when senators spoke of bipartisanship, they truly meant it. They would never compromise principles, but would compromise with their colleagues on the serious issues of the day in order to move this country forward. But by the time he left the Senate in 1997, Senator Heflin sensed a change in the political climate, and he was concerned about it. He wrote in a parting essay, Our Constitution itself came about through a great series of compromises. It was not written by ideologues who clung to their way or no. Compromise and negotiation, the hallmarks of moderation, aimed at achieving moderate centrist policies for our country, should not be viewed as negatives. 